prison crisis in the state forced the governor today to take executive action in the form of an emergency situation and says that moving inmates to Tutwiler is the best course of action to secure these inmates and make sure that their needs are met. Department of Corrections must now work out an agreement in regards to their transfer of a number of inmates from Parchman to this private prison. 12 News, Alex Love was at the Capitol today. He has reaction. Alex? Absolutely. Lawmakers expressed concern today after MDOC set a deficit request letter to the budget office asking for enough money to pay $65 a day per inmate to the Tallahassee private prison in Tutwiler a rate much more than the state law allows. To speed up the process around legal obstacles, Governor Phil Bryant took to Twitter Thursday evening announcing an emergency declaration moving inmates from the Mississippi State Penitentiary to the private prison, Tallahatchie County Correctional Facility. This effort is to cool down the tensions with rival gangs sparking fights and riots inside Parchman where three inmates were killed in one week. Talking to some inmates who are, uh, that the uh, vice lords are a major influence in the prison system and that the uh, gangster disciples are now trying to take a foothold in the prisons. In documents obtained by Mississippi Today, the cost per inmate will be $65 a day. Considering the 90 days they'll be in the private prison, the state will have to pay CoreCivic around $2.1 million of taxpayer money. We have been involved in those conversations. We've been kept up to speed uh, on what they are doing, uh, and we'll continue to um, monitor the situation. I'm not sure that that's going to be, it's going to solve the problem, uh, what we need. I'm very concerned about the conditions the inmates are living in, and I'm not sure sending them to private prisons is going to be the answer. The emergency declaration also allows MDOC to reach out to other agencies for funding and assistance, specifically the State Emergency Management Agency and Highway Patrol. Every time we have to spend more money on something like this, an unanticipated expense, then that takes away from something else. The pie is only so large, so you'll see us being scrutinizing all of the state agencies. The next big question is how the House and Senate will find a permanent solution to properly staff facilities and fix the conditions. Now, Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman threw out the idea of transforming Walnut Grove into a fully operated prison, an idea brought up by MDOC but can't be done at the moment due to the lack of staffing and money.